Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny. Welcome back to another video. It's been about half a month since you last heard that intro, and I'm making a quick update slash vlog video to explain what I've been doing the past like half a month, and most importantly, what you can expect from the channel going into the new year. I don't really have any script for this video. I never tried to make a script for vlog videos and update videos, which may be a bad thing because maybe there's something I want to touch upon that I forget to mention, but I'm just going to run with it because I, I do owe you guys an update, even though I did make a community post, though I actually don't know how well effective those things are. So I'm making a video quickly before we can hop back into regularly scheduled uploads. But basically, I had to take a little bit of a mental break, which honestly, I'm very, very glad I did. Usually whenever there's breaks in the upload schedule, it's just because either I take too long a video or I just straight up lose motivation to make videos at that time. But never do I actually take like a a dedicated break. I feel like this is probably the first one I had where I realized, you know, I, I told myself in my head, stop focusing on uploading, just focus on planning out your day, relaxing, enjoying a break from uploading. And you know, once we start to get that motivation back, then we can start talking about videos going into the new year, which is something I have done and something I'm pretty proud of. I have basically the entire month of January planned out with videos. And to be completely honest up front, the first week of January is going to be a bunch of FNAF news that I missed out on during my break. I know I still need to talk about the movie castings. We got a few more products, a brand new wave from Funko that was leaked, as well as a whole bunch of FNAF Plus stuff. So again, that first full week of January is going to be a bunch of catching up on news videos. And I know some people can get pretty annoyed with that. I get a lot of comments like, this is old news. Why are you talking about it? This is old news. You know, stop saying it's new news. This is old news. You're late. You're bad, which I'm <laughs> exaggerating a little bit. But again, I do want to catch up on news that I missed because I owe it to you guys. I mean, I'm a freaking FNAF news reporter. It'd be kind of dumb just to skip over it because, oh, I was on break then. We don't even need to talk about it. You know, you know, a bunch of other people have talked about it. I do still want to make videos on those. So just to set expectations, that's going to be like the first main week of January is going to be catching up on news. But before I keep talking about future stuff, I want to quickly talk about this past year. And most importantly, the fact that we hit 50 thousand subscribers right before the year closes which was our goal for the year and i'm so so happy we were able to hit it so thank you guys so so much for the support recently it's been it's it's really helped again with losing motivation and you know mental health slowly draining towards the latter half of this year but you know getting that 50k before the year's end was really really sweet and i can't thank you guys enough for that i'm pretty proud of the year we had i think you know there was a few gaps with uploads here and there which again is a new year's resolution i'm gonna try and fix going into 2023 but other than that i'm pretty proud of the stuff we achieved a lot of awesome fnaf news videos a bunch of new series that came out including including playing other games that aren't FNAF, like Poppy Playtime and Choo Choo Charles and Bendy and the Dark Revival. Like, I really do enjoy playing other horror games that aren't just FNAF. And that is something I do want to do more going into, well, not going into the new year, but during 2023 is touch upon some other games that I like that aren't necessarily FNAF. Like, for a very long time, I've wanted to go back and play Tattletale, because I freaking love Tattletale. And also, maybe a few Granny's games. Maybe play Baldi every now and then. I don't know. We'll have to see about Hell or Neighbor though i mean after seeing the reviews for hello neighbor 2 not really sure if i want to go play that series again but <laughs> we'll see how that goes but yeah a bunch of other games i want to touch upon for new uh for the new year i'm also really happy with how blocks talks has turned out so far kind of like my version of mogul mail that's the inspiration behind that series which a few people caught on to but i really enjoyed talking about that you know we've got some very interesting subjects uh like lego fnaf and Candyland and the cloak situation and while most of them are just kind of one-off dramas i do think if you look behind that slightly it's another way to like take a peek behind the curtains in the fnaf community see what people think about certain subjects and i think that's why I'm enjoying it a bunch so far. And yes, yes, I know I've been talking about a follow-up to the Candyland video for quite a while now. That's still in the works. It's actually one of the videos I have planned for sometime this month. And while we're on the topic of videos that I've talked about and haven't released yet, the Halloween episode. That's been a real, real pain in the butt video to upload just because there's so many clips and it's such a complex topic, surprisingly. But just to give you a little hint, my brother and I took a trip halfway across the country to that, you know, FNAF haunted house that took place in Ohio. And that's basically our story, flying out there, experiencing the attraction, 
and then also the aftermath of what happened with the place that hosted that and the drama surrounding it. So it's going to be a very interesting video. Again, it's something I got to freaking get done because not only have I been pressuring myself to get it done, I've also got my brother and his friends who are trying to see it and a bunch of you guys who keep commenting, commenting like, where's the Halloween special? It's coming also sometime this month, I promise you. But again, I'm just really content with the videos we were able to pump out this year and I'm hoping we can go just a bit further beyond with 2023. There's a few other, you know, series I want to continue. Like I said, playing other games that aren't just FNAF, uh, continuing Blocks Talks. I'm also currently working on getting a podcast set up with some FNAF people you may know. Right now we've got, I don't know if I should confirm, but quite a few people on board. I think it's going to be really cool. I've also got an artist who's going to be making some thumbnails for those podcast episodes. And my God, do they look amazing. I honestly can't wait for you guys to see these thumbnails because they look fantastic. Her name's Rhea. She's been a massive, massive help with a whole bunch of art recently. Like I said, those thumbnails for the podcast, which hopefully will be coming out sometime this month. That's the goal. I'm not sure how frequent episodes will be. I'm going to try and aim for maybe one every week or one every two weeks, but we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, Rio's great. She made a new banner for the channel. She also made a design for some upcoming holiday themed merchandise, which again should be launching very, very soon. She's absolutely fantastic. Please, please go check her out. Her Instagram is going to be linked down below. And I think that's it for talking about this past year. And now I know I've briefly touched upon some things I want to do for next year, but just a few more nitpicks. <laughs> I want to do a bunch more live streams, including a few charity streams every now and then. I think my goal right now is to try and aim for one around mid-February, kind of around Valentine's Day. I also want to get back into doing game shows, those FNAF game shows, if you were around for Fazbear's Fortune, which was admittedly just a Jeopardy ripoff. It was pretty fun. I really, really freaking enjoyed it. I want to try and get another one of those up and running, because again, that was a class to work on. I had so much fun during those episodes. I'll probably start dipping my hand, my hands, my toes <laughs> into shorts as well. I've been doing a few every now and then for the past couple months, or I guess technically the past year. Those absolutely pop off if you do them right. And I think it's going to be a really, really good way to help us try and get to 100k, which is going to hopefully be the end goal for 2023, getting that silver plaque. And overall, I think my main New Year's resolution is just to get better at scheduling. Not only for videos and content and streams and stuff like that, but personal life too. For a very, very long time, I've been going to bed at just the most disgusting of hours, nearly 3 a.m. And waking up at like 11, sometimes even noon. It's really not healthy. And I think setting a personal schedule, a daily schedule for myself, is really going to help out with mental health, physical health, and also content. Going to bed at reasonable hours, waking up at reasonable hours, working out, showering, and then hopping into recording for a couple hours, editing, live streaming in the afternoon, doing all that fancy YouTube stuff, and then towards the later, you know, later part of the afternoon going into night, just chill out. Take some time, you know, some loan time. As a personal side note, I've actually started to keep track of all of the shows and movies I watch, which is actually making me want to watch more movies and dedicate more time to personal experiences. And actually, <laughs> it's working out. Hey, it's working out pretty good if I do say so myself. <laughs> yeah, dude, I've just, I've fallen, I've fallen in love with watching movies and consuming shows. Usually I wasn't that type of person because some shows can be really, really freaking long. And always at the back of my mind when I was watching a show, I was like, I could be working on videos or I could just be like doing something productive, but just taking time to yourself, you know, late at night, getting relaxed, getting ready for bed. I think it's really going to help. That's a bit of a personal update and some personal goals, but I think I've covered everything in this video. Again, I do apologize for kind of disappearing, though. I mean, I wasn't completely gone. I was still posting FNAF news on Twitter. I'm still active in my Discord, which I got a new Discord. I guess it'll le be linked down below. Keep in mind, though, the verification is pretty strict. I was also on Phil's stream, Fiznom, the FNAF Plus creator. That dude, he did a charity stream for the Trevor project. He raised like a whole bunch of money. He played Security Breach Glitchless, which took like three days. It was an amazing stream. I was so, so honored to, um, to be invited on that stream. It's one of those things where it's like, damn, I will never be able to like interact with this person or I'll never be able to like, you know, hang out with all these people so much larger and more successful than me. And then it happens and it's like, 
how did we get here? And I guess just to round out this upload, uh, this upload update video, I just want to give a massive shout out to all of the creators and other influencers and just other people I've met in the industry. I don't want to name off names because then I'm going to forget people, but you know who you are. You mean a lot. Thank you so much. And also thank you for watching me. Watching me. Why, why are you watching me? Also, tell me about the new camera. This is a new camera. I don't know if there was much of a difference, but I got it for, for Christmas. By the way, I hope you all had a good Christmas or holidays, whatever, you know, if you celebrated something different like Hanukkah or Kwanzaa. Or hey, maybe you don't celebrate anything. You just had a good, good winter, good end of the year. This is going up on, I think, probably New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. So if you have any New Year's resolutions or maybe you just want to tell me a funny story from the holidays, maybe Uncle Jeb did something crazy at Christmas dinner and you got to share it with people. Feel free to let me know in the comments, but I hope everyone's doing good. And just thank you so much for sticking with me for five years of Johnny Blocks, and here's to yet another one. But thank you so much for watching this video. I can't wait to see you all for the New Year's. We got a whole bunch of content, and this time, I'm actually motivated to do it. So thank you so much, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.